Alright, so I'm on week three here of the Juice Bikes Cross Current. So far so good. Actually, I saw the uh, electric bike review guy. Sorry, I don't recall. Sorry, I know doggies. Doggies don't like bikes. Most of them don't. <clears throat> the electric bike review uh, guy, I don't know his name. My apologies. I, um, Rich told me, but I forgot. But <clears throat> anyway, they did. He did the review of the uh, rip current from Juice Bikes. So look, look for that. There's that flapping. I mostly fixed it. It is interesting how it kind of a, is a left-right thing. I don't know if you can pan down. Okay, that's, that's excessive. Because I was just telling somebody too that I adjusted it and I fixed it, but maybe not. So, <clears throat> in any event, yes, a bike looks really cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to Rich over at uh, Juice Bikes is supposed to get me a, a demo bike, so we'll swap this out for the rip current. So look for that if you're interested, subscribe, and you will see. I will take that one out for a spin, hopefully for a couple of weeks as well. And uh, we'll try that one out. It's got a 750 watt motor, fat tire, uh, kind of a you know, kind of a different, I'd say it's definitely a direct comparison to what would be the Rad Rover's offering. Although the Rip Current has stronger, uh, I think overall stronger components than that of what Rad's offering. But, <coughs> excuse me, a little bug. In any event, that's that, so that, that's that. Look for that, you'll see it out there. The other, let's see, what's the other news? I have not yet, Pulled the trigger on buying a. Uh, here I'm going to do. I'm not going to pedal. I haven't pulled the trigger yet on buying new tires for my uh, Rad Rover. <clears throat> I'm waiting. I just have been so busy. I am going to actually attempt possibly making. Uh, going for the tubeless kind. No tube. So. It's actually interesting. Everything I've seen on YouTube so far, the people that are doing it, <clears throat> I guess you use the um, like duct tape, uh, effectively, on the center part, and then you uh, put the sealant in there. So it's kind of kind of interesting. I'm curious about how that'll work. <clears throat> Who knows? So, what am I sitting at right now? So I've done 121 miles, <clears throat> and I also wanted to tell you that on my last video I talked about weight loss. <clears throat> I do think that I've uh, lost a few pounds. Sorry, I was a little distracted. I lost a few pounds. Which is good, because on this bike you do want to uh, pedal more than, than you would typically. There's another dog going after me. Ah. They're playing hockey over here. There's like a hockey rink that was that funny in Southern California. That's good though, these kids have a place to go. The truck was making a funny sound. Yeah, I don't have uh, too many other updates I can share. That's really it for now. Someone will make this a ginormous video. At least give you guys kind of an update. This is an evening ride. Usually I've been filming in the morning, so I wanted to show you an evening run. <clears throat> ah. No flapping sound there. 
I will say this though, the, I did have to ride the bike a couple of times when it was a little wet and um, the fenders, ooh, just go over a little hill there. The, the fenders work really well because they're very long. So the upshot is they function well. The downshot is they can be a little flappy. I'm gonna go for this. And now we'll start cranking up. Let's see how fast we can go. We'll end it with that. How about that? Speed here. 28. Downhill. A little bit. Come on. 29. 30. It's pretty good. Thirty miles an hour. So, as long as I want to pedal, <laughs> I get more exercise out of this thing. And you go faster. Yeah, I can't, I was never able to do 30, maybe downhill on the rad. So, there you go. All right, guys. I'll let you go. That's all I got. Talk to you soon. I'll show you uh, next couple days. See ya.